So first of all, we will start with verifying the mastergram operation. Uh, we will do the color loop is already set, so we can see the operation. The speed is slow. The first operation is the facing operation, done in yellow color, as you can see. The second operation is the contour operation, which is done in blue color. We're leaving tabs behind as you can see to hold the workpiece. The one in violet color is the pocket machining operation. Um, the tool used was of big size so all the corners uh, cannot be machined. So we do a remachining operation, pocket remachining operation using a small tool as you can see in the green color over here. Next operation is uh, about uh, drilling. So first of all, we uh, do a spot like uh, spot drill. Once we're done, we start with peg drilling and drill a through hole. Then next uh, operation is the tap operation. Again, we start with the pocket machining operation over here and uh, do a remachining as well. So this operation was a bit quick over here. But basically it was just uh, uh, using the center drill to mark the spots, six spots over here. And then using pack drilling operation to drill a through, through hole. And finally doing tapping operation. Over here the same operation goes on um, for pocket machining. First of all we use a big size tool uh, to cover up the machining fast. And then we do a pocket remachining operation with a small tool cover the rest of the part. We'll go a bit fast. Last operation is the peel mill operation. Uh, this operation takes a while as the work piece is very big. So I'll go a bit fast. One in violet color is the PU mill operation. And done. As you can see, the robot development kit is open over here, and I exported uh, updated the operations over here, uh, and the, as shown in the plugin. And all the tools come over here that were used in all the operations. Here we have uh, an ABB IRB 2600 robot which we'll be using to uh, perform all the operations including facing, contour, drilling, pocket, tapping and peel mill operations. Here the NC file we need to select, uh, select a curve or NC file. So the NC file is exported from Mastercam and I already selected it so now uh, as you can see the uh, dual parts are already generated over here the part is over here you can see all the operations uh, are here and we need to update them so let me press the update button so it's checking the feasibility if uh, the robot can perform all the operations or not. Okay, so it's simulated. Uh, the, we simulate the update out operation. So the robot over here starts machining and um, the tools can be changed as uh, shown over here it shows all the tools it generates all the code for the robot so once you're done with uh, simulating it you can export it so as you can see in the part 
there is a generate robot program and once you click on that uh, the libraries of uh, the software are mostly based in Python so it will generate a code in Python so as you can see it has generated the code and to be more specific here is the whole code these are the instructions for all the six axes in the robot to move in different direction for all the machining operations so this way you can use a mastercam plugin the robo development kit and use a robot of your choice or the one you have available and uh, for machining operations if you have the work uh, the work piece ready and uh, you have uh, done all the operations in mastercam you can just use this plugin and make the operations as well uh, there's a lot of more things than this uh, just the code because uh, you need to have a proper fixture and uh, you need to calibrate your robot uh, before starting the operations uh, but uh, this is the very uh, basic code and uh, once you have this code you can you can start with the rest of the things but a very nice concept to work with Okay, so one thing I forgot to add is that uh, you need to check your post processor. So here is the select post processor option, and uh, in the uh, ABBRB 2600 robot, IRC5 is the uh, plex pendant, and you need to export in this format. There is a lot of different options. If you program for a Kuka uh, robot, Kawasaki, or Fanuc robot, you can export in those formats. But for now it's uh, ABB IRC5 so uh, if you export in uh, other robot formats uh, the code will not be accepted in the